Hey folks, Quilly King here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Cosmeteer. And in this episode, I'm moving to a new system. Even our cargo processor over here, I temporarily slapped on some extra engines back here to make the trip a little bit more bearable. Could also hyper jump, but this is fine. Um, if I go and do that, there you go. It's gonna take you a little while to charge up everything here, which is fine. Gotta load up power into all these hyper drives. Doesn't actually take a lot of Hyperium, but I guess we do have to charge the power on all these things. As soon as you're ready to go, we're gonna jump everything to the other system. Boom. We are moving here. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna move to this base here. So the cargo processor is gonna go slow and you, can I, I don't suppose I can right click, oh, I can. I mean, there's also formation flying stuff. I'm just gonna throw a little follow on this for now, and that's gonna we're gonna call that good enough. So it's quite so I guess I could for safety. I could just hyper jump to here. But this seems okay. We I've I've come through here with my ship a few times. Um there I think there was that roving pirate that last time, but we cleared that out. I'm gonna park it next to this base. Hopefully it's got some extra defense turrets. But it should be in of itself relatively secure. All this copper and stuff. Yeah, I mean, we're going to do mining passes through the system at some point, too. Yeah, there we go. It's got some defense platforms. Beautiful. So, yeah, you're just going to park yourself right in here. And I think I think I've got some crap to drop off, actually. Yeah. Yep. Um, we'll keep the Hyperium for now so we can jump around in the system. Initiate transfer. These raw materials were from the station that got blowed up. There you go, transfer everything over. Done the EVA, beautiful. Now, did I go and ever pick up all the quests from here? Oh, oh, you're not a quest base. Oh, oh, hello. Um, Come out this way. Or fine, keep up your momentum this way. There you go, drift around. Go, go, go. Let's go. Let's engage. So yeah, this guy should be pretty safe. Although maybe I'll live a little bit more of a gap because these guys might have some difficulty patrolling around here. Let's keep chasing, chasing. Eventually you'll turn around. And you'll have some sort. Oh whoa 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 whoa! That's a lot of contacts. Let's do a safety save. That's a lot of contacts. Oh, are you stopped? You might be patrolling back now. Hold on. Oh, three coming out. I wonder if they spotted me or the Shamal here. Oh, Bigfoot. Okay. And yeah, we've got that. Yeah, the combat range was already correctly set. These are some disruptors, which I don't love. But your power core is relatively exposed if you don't turn yourself to me. And we might just still be able to outrange you. And I guess that's the thing. Maybe we don't have to fear the disruptors if we just outrange everything all the time. A little pin on the Bigfoot. Um, you're doing some funny spinny moves. Oh, we were... Hang on. We're shooting some of the debris here. Why are you... Oh, because you'd already lost a bunch of stuff. Okay, fine. Put a rough marker in this area. Engage on the marigold. Good. I don't even have to really put down another marker for that debris. Because it's all in the same area. Work ourselves roughly in the middle here. And then do this. Okay. So quests, so divved him, reach another station. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do. We'll grab as much of this stuff as we can right now. Uh, I guess I'll clear this marker. I guess we've got enough storage to grab everything that's here, actually. Done, done, and you're going to try to make the trip out here, so we'll go and meet you part way. Done, done, done. Okay. Contact the station. All right, let's do that. 
Oh yeah, and there's the quest there. That's the that's the real main station for this sector, I think. But we'll go and visit this. No threats, good. Okay. Then yeah, just we've got a quest to just contact you, but you'll also give us a crap ton more quests. Oh, there we go. We already did that one. Lovely. And that one. Okay. Uh, we actually have enough coils, so we'll deliver. We'll deliver coils onto you. Then the explore. So if I were to, I mean, I don't remember how many you need sixty. Because yeah, I might still want to store a bunch of these because we can upcycle them to hyper coils. And do I want to add another bed to this ship? I don't know. Again, it's it's suggesting that we might want more, and we can get some, but I'm not sure about the design right now. Are you are you transferring this stuff? Like, did it finish? Okay, there we go. Talk again. We don't get much of an extra reward here. Yeah, you know, two grand is two grand. Okay. Um, fugitive bounty. Let's try to get this while we're here, and yeah, we'll try to make our way up over to this station to do some turn-ins and things. Danger. Oh, I, I think I pinned that earlier on my exploration. Okay. And yeah, there's a lot of ooh, the carbon. You know, do I want to do the carbon while I'm here? No, because I don't have a mining laser, so there would still be just questionable amounts of stuff pulled out of it. But yeah, we can pin that. Oh. Sorry, wasn't there a... He might be in the dust. Oh. I don't know if that's that one. But that is one. I don't like that we're not going to do a very long-range engagement. Oof. Um, well, this is awkward as heck. Okay. Okay, there we go. At least now we're in the open. So now we can use our full range. Okay, that was actually quite terrifying. There we go. You have been cored, my friend. Let's rip you apart. And initiate repairs. Yeah, we took a fair amount of armor damage there. But only armor damage, presumably. There's still... That's ammo, which is why it was low priority. And there was little bits of debris scattered throughout here. Oh, including some hypercoils. Hang on, let's do the thing where we... Oh, let me eject all the ammo. That is really not worth much. And you know what? I'll eject the steel as well for a second. I guess I could have done a sum. We're going to be picking it up again in a moment here. There's all the bits we were knocking off this guy. Slash, maybe partially ourselves too. Okay, then... And then pick up this stuff. And then presumably just fill up with the most valuable bits. Yeah, this is all clustered up. We're gonna leave a bunch of ammo behind, which is fine, because it's not worth that much, and I'm not that concerned about picking it up. What is... Just more ammo. Presumably. Okay, good. Uh, right, we've got those pins down still, which is good. The cargo processor. Oh, yeah, well, that's the other thing is I want to come over here and I want to um, transfer excess. To stockpile it for future ship designs, plus some of these things like the coils, for example, um, are going to be used for some amount of crafting. I don't know why it's, it offers to send it back. Do I have some like, weird, like, desired item amount, like, stockpiled up? Seems like maybe. Okay, let's go here. We don't have any known quests in the area. I wonder if there's more stations as well. 
Destroy pirate base in this area is probably going to be quite a bit more challenging. There's going to be a lot of ships and they will be a little stronger. So yeah, we'll turn that in. Sulfur, we could have turned in ammo, but again, if, if it doesn't give us... Like, it doesn't give us fame and it doesn't really give us any money. So we don't really care about that. Um, we won't do this. That's going to be okay. And the, the rest, I think, is all good too. Okay. Let's do a little save. So that's the pirate base. This is just unknown. Ship graveyard. Could revisit this. Presumably I've visited these before and maybe check for quests, but I don't know. What is this? Unknown contact. It's not red. Oh, hyper. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, this is a pack. Now, hopefully, and we're going to push this out. Some of it's unexplored. Hopefully, it's not part of the cloud, so we get nice vision range. Because we're definitely going to have to play... Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Turn around. We're going to deal with this first. Although, if these guys... If a couple of them chase me, because there might be more of them. It's entirely possible. I don't think they're chasing, though. All right, for a second. Ooh, that is a lot of dudes, though. That is a lot of dudes. All right, Quill. This is a little scary, but let's see what we can do. This one's static. Not a pirate base. Could be a pirate base. With a defense platform? It is a defense platform. That is a cool looking wrecked ship. So yeah, if you can target the cockpit, that'd be okay. Okay, done. Um, hang on. There we go. Let's say if we can figure out which one is coming for us. Your cockpit's in the back. Okay, so we'll definitely go for the reactor core. And yeah, just out kite you. Easy peasy. We actually have a pretty good... We're still going to be super mega cautious over here. Okay, someone else is coming. So let's just put a marker on the biggest part of that. And then go for this guy. And again, usually before I would have been like, well, let's disable their primary guns maybe first for safety, but we don't need that. We have no real ability to go sideways, so I don't think I can get a side angle on. So we're having to churn through a lot of this armor to get to this reactor core, but that's okay. Okay, we're far enough away. I think we can probably go and loot this debris field. And save us having to put down a pin. Okay, done. I'm not going to loot the other one because it's a little closer. Let's go after this final contact, which might be static. This might be a laser platform. It is. Okay. Yeah, they are not beefy at all. Okay. This debris field is cleared. Let's eject all. Eject all. I think we're going to be picking it up in a second here, but then I want to do this, which I know is going to include ripping some of this stuff apart. And we're going to be filled up with steel, but I want to make sure that we at least picked up the valuable bits from the ship that we just blew up first. Okay, everyone's on board. Good. All right, and we'll still have the marker for the ship graveyard. Oh, I guess I can come around to this bouncer. And let me do the same thing. First, I'm just going to eject all the steel. Make a priority, everything more valuable. And yeah, we don't have enough carrying capacity for absolutely everything here. Although I suspect we are picking up a lot of the steel that's there. And there might be a quest to kill you. And again, if you're powerful enough, we may get some fame from booping you as well. Okay. Um, so it's somewhere over here. Last we checked, you're still looting. I'm going to get rid of this marker. Wait for everyone to be on board. Okay. Let's see if we can find this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. I was leaving a crew member behind. Get on board. Good. Okay. Yeah, we're engaging with this person who's just patrolling around. 
we may or may not get a quest for at some point. We could also set target for this Cepheus. You go backwards kiting, keep out of range. Ah ha ha! It's so effective! Court, 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 court. Boom. Okay. Right. Meet it part way. Once again, uh, dump all the ammo. Dump all the steel. And loot everything. Which is almost certainly going to mean picking up more steel. My crew's going to be sick of me, but it's the easiest way. If, if there was a way to say, pick up, like, auto-eject stuff that's got less value or something like that. But I don't really expect that that's a thing. That's weird. Why didn't all this get... Huh. Okay. So yeah, there's a tiny bit of debris here, but it's not going to be worth much. Okay, we got a fugitive bounty there. Ooh, unknown contact. That's probably a hyperspace point. But we've got the exploration quest as well, so we want to go and ping those things. Come out, come out wherever you are. There we go. I was going to say, I hope you're not in the cloud. Another hostile, but that's okay. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, backwards to maintain the range. Beautiful. And yeah, we are going to have to go straight down the middle here. Oh, they did regenerate their shields one time. Probably they won't get to do it a second time, though. And yeah, we don't have our own disruptor cannons, but I think that's okay. All right, I think what I'm going to do is just put a marker for this because we are pretty full. And at some point it's gonna be impractical to keep doing the loot shuffle, so we'll just grab it again later. Okay, there's quite a few hostiles. But you know, I'm to say I'm feeling myself now, which is an expression that makes sense in this context, and yet also reads kind of weird. Okay, these are interesting. These are defended ship graveyards. I think I'd like to come from this angle here. Because I don't want to get dragged into the cloud. Where we lose our advantage of range as a result of limited visibility. We may have to go and burn through some debris here depending on the exact angle. Yeah, see if we can get here. This might be a good case for manual controls too. But Oh, hang on. We got to target the one who's moving. Oh, we got missiles. They do have good range. Oh, we might still be outranging the missiles. Oh, this rock is a little bit annoying. That's fine. Fine. Okay, you know what? This guy's closing in better now because the other guy's stuck on the rock. So let's make that our kite target. Oh, I've got a few shots right down the middle. I think that'll be it. Again, yeah, we didn't get the shield in one go, but that's fine. And now we do that, and we do that, and you're done. And then we'll put a little pin marker. It's okay that you keep drifting forward, actually. Because this way the... the oh, hang on. Cancel, 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 cancel. I didn't think this guy continued to chase me. Turn. Yeah, I think I'd really like two engines on each side facing towards the rear. It would also help with our rotation. Now that no one is chasing us, theoretically, let's go and repair our armor. There's still some threats over there, but they may all just be static. Repair? Yes, no, maybe so. There we go. Sometimes they get, like, weirdly stuck. Now, the fact that we did some repairs means we've got a little bit of room because we used some metal, but... Those might both be static, I kind of expect. Let's see, there's this debris in the way. Well, no matter what, we may have to burn through a little bit of debris here. Oh, no, there we go. We got a nice angle. Good. Because I don't want to destroy the debris that I might be wanting to loot. Now, I think it's mostly metal. There we go. 
Okay, that's all clear. Good. What do we have over here? Okay, it's a pack. This cloud might be a bit of an issue. Hmm. Looks like our ability to probably pull something out of the cloud is going to be questionable and tricksy. Another pack here. Oh, geez. Okay, he's only rank one, which is okay. And certainly where we're at is all right. Rotate, rotate faster. Okay, killed you immediately. Put a pin on the fighter. Yeah, Glimmer's only rank one as well. And they got pilled out of the clouds, which is wonderful for us. I guess I didn't play the game before the cloud updates, but I do think they add a lot of really interesting stuff to the map here. Okay. Repair. Just a, a tiny little scratch on the paint job. Put a pin over here, too. And now that we're fully stopped, are you going to do the repairs? And we have a slight shortage of crew, and we have no we, no real priorities and things set. So, it could be no end of shortage of stuff over here. Oh, the Renegade pack, pack has been cleared, and is this... Yep, yeah, just another beacon. Excellent. Okay, hold on. Let's come over to this station. Because we've got some quests we can turn in. And yeah, over here we still have our little cargo processor, which isn't doing much. Actually, with the cargo processor, if it was safe to do, I want to... Oh, let's just jump you. You jump to here. Because I think this is the station we were told to specifically come from the quest that sent us over here. And I suspect it's a station that's got more stuff overall. And turn in, turn in. And, oh, I do have enough uranium to do this delivery, but I might, you know what? I think I just want to turn this into processed uranium. I think we're going to keep it. Yeah. Anyway, I'll dump the ammo because I'm not actually interested in doing anything with that. Um, okay, we're empty and I do have some loot listed here. Oh yeah. From a previous... Oh, right, but there's still a bunch of... I'm still full. Well, tell you what. Um, We may have to pick up the Tritanium a little bit more. Or Hyperium or whatever it's called. The hyper jump stuff. Maybe I should put a beacon on the cargo process. Mostly we just make it slightly easier to click things from range. Yeah, here. I'm going to keep the, hy the uh, Hyperium on this ship. And we will maybe be lazy and jump around some more. But yeah, dump all that. Up, 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 up. I don't feel the need to make any change to the design. Again, I think I'd want a little bit more beamage. The rear thing, this is still working very well for now and everything else would require a little bit more of a space move. Um, Unknown signal, I guess. Oh, that's probably one of the ones we had visited previously. Oh, when we were getting kind of blasted. Right? This is the one that causes some problems because it shot out our prism. But now we've got the shields, which we didn't have last time. Looks like this one might wander a little closer, or that one might be static, actually. I think it might be, so I'll actually... Okay, this is still closer, so this will still set. Yeah, it is static. This one's going to chase us, though, so we're going to have to change targets to make our kiting work at some point. Since it spots us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and those are missiles, which is probably part of the issue. All right, I'm going to change target now. does have its own ion beams, so it could also hit us. Now we're out of range of the ion beam, fighting here. We could move the shields further forward as well, right? And maybe that would be because then we wouldn't have to constantly repair this. Not that it's that painful to do. 90, which we don't currently have, but because we don't have anything stored up. I don't want to move too far forward here. Move a little bit more. Okay. Everyone's back. Good. We'll cancel all orders, which includes some repair orders. Here, target the crystal, which is nearly dead anyway. There you go. And now it's toast. And this whole thing is toast. Great. Okay. Pick up all this stuff. That's fine. Okay, I don't think there's any more debris over here, so we don't have to worry about marking anything. And now grab this as well. 
And initiate repairs. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. I guess it was repairing using stuff that was lying around. Okay, so this is all cleared out. Um, where was that gold asteroid so I can pin it properly? Oh, there it is. So let me pin the gold asteroid and then remove that pin. That's for later. Pirate base. Okay, pirate base, very scary. And actually, uh, hmm. I can wait to turn in. Here's what I was thinking. I kind of want to turn in the low level stuff that might hit a fame cap first. Because then I could still turn in the stuff that's probably going to give me more fame. Okay, I don't like the ion cloud, whatever this is called. Nebula. So let's turn this way. So that we have all this space to deal with. And yeah, lots of backward kiting in our future. Oh, hang on. There we go. It's already glistening here. We just need one of these to like kind of notice us. All right, just shoot at the laser platform because everything is actually going to move away. So that's going to be the furthest thing we engage. There we go. They're starting to react. Good. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to scooch backwards for a second. Um, I don't know which one of these is faster. They're all coming. All right. Turn and engage this guy. Who is using his own ion beam. Okay, toast, 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 toast. Put a pin there. Where it you know, it's hard hard to find a piece of it that was intact enough to mark. There we are. Mark that debris. Turn on to this guy who does not have ion cannons, so we can outkite them easily. Well, they does have a lot of forward armor. I'll give him that. He's trying to turn for some broadsides here. There we go. Toast you. Oh. Let this guy get in range. We get mostly just some scratches on the paint job. Did you did you die? No. Wait, yes, you did. Really? You seem remarkably intact. Initiate repairs. Boop. Pick up this stuff. We might not end up picking up all of it. Uh, no, we did. Okay, so let's remove that marker. A little bit of debris here and there. Okay. Oh, hang on. Left too quick. There we are. Let's go. Clear out the last. What's left of this? Target this base. It's interesting. It looked like it had a ship dock, or it looks like maybe it was made by a bunch of ships kind of glued together. Cannon platform and the base, because I don't actually expect we'll be able to loot all of it in one go. Actually, this might be a good case for uh, eject and eject the steel, which I'm sure we're going to pick up a bunch of it in a second here. But then just redo this to prioritize the highest value stuff. I don't know if it's like a stacking thing. Oh, yeah, because in the latest patch, they did add stuff where people will reorganize the stack. So I think occasionally they're getting end up with a little bit of extra room. Okay, that's all cleared up. And yeah, I'm actually wondering about not turning in right away. Just because of maybe the fame limits. There's no reason I need to turn in right now anyway. Oh, but you know what I should do is I should go and drop off all this stuff to the cargo processor. Yeah, you know, or cargo dash processor kind of a, uh, not G, um, N. It's kind of a dual purpose kind of vibe. Do, do, do. Done. I guess if I put the clear exits, because yeah, I don't need to carry this much. 
Some of it might be in the cargo bay. So this would be an excuse for the clear access, but let's just do it this way. That's going to be fine. I don't feel like I've got to make any adjustments to my ship. Oh, we're still EVA. Good. And repeat. Yeah, there's the debris over here, but I won't worry about it again. We'll loot some things as we go, but the big thing will just be later on when I get the, when I rebuild our big mining ship with a lot of cargo capacity, I'll go and uh, salvage these wrecks at the same time. This is a very busy little sector over here. Feels like a just a busier system than the last one. So I don't love this because it is going to be a much shorter range um, encounter. You, know, you can see our vision radius is actually fairly tiny, I think. So this, okay, this is the radius of my ion beam. But you can see the radius of my vision cone is maybe something like that. Whoop. I think I guessed pretty well, actually. Um, we are having a heck of a hard time getting through this ship. There we go. Is that it? That was just the one target? Okay, done. Easy. Boop, boop, boop. Loot everything. No damage. Moving on. We can wake up. We can take a little bit of a wider trip over here. See if we see any question marks just for the exploration quest. Danger. I guess I pinned it because I didn't have the thing. Oh, yeah, it is a pirate base. Okay, there's no ion cloud over on this side, so this is where we're going to want to do the fighting. Oh, but we don't actually see into the cloud here. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, it's like, well, let's wait and see if anyone comes out. That's what we want. Hello, Bigfoot. Don't go into the cloud. Don't go into the cloud. See me. Turn around. Aggro on me. Come on before you cloud. There we go. Yes. Come after me and tell all your friends to come out here too. Come out and play. Good. Let's leave a marker there because I think we're going to be... No, no, no. I totally look... Hey, it's giving me the Bigfoot tooltip. There it is. But it's not counting as clicking on it for the marker. A little back up. You are very long. Missile and mine launcher. Well, let's hope we can stay out of range of that thing. We are going to be shooting straight down the middle through all the shields. This would definitely be a good case for us to try to, like, flank. Or if you want to turn like that, that works out okay for me. I'm sorry. Where the hell did you come from? Okay. All right, we're missing a hypercoil. Let's do as many repairs as we can for the moment. We can probably get a hypercoil from the wreckage. Okay, cancel. Everyone come back. turning around again but yeah if we can there we go as I say kill these engines there we go now we don't have to worry about you running away Whew. those are some EVA people there come on get on board I don't have the um, manipulator beams oh did I still have a repair command or no it was telling me it was broken right 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 alt all current orders Everyone's on board. Good. Actually, yeah. Come back here first. Pick up this stuff. Are you closing in? No, you're just patrolling around. Same thing. Yeah, okay. 
No, you're fine. Everything's fine. Pick up a little bit of stuff here. Hopefully we grab the hyper coil. Okay, and yes, we did. Okay. Run all the repairs. Done. Okay, lovely. Go and kick some butt. We're having to be a lot more strategic here, but this is working great. And let's get close enough to hopefully cause them to pop out here. I don't know if they can see us. Maybe not while they're in the cloud. Okay, I know you were patrolling around. I want to go inside the cloud. Although we will, we can just back out. I can also pop into manual mode and then just, just run backwards. Okay, we've got some high explosive missiles, which, okay, they are engaging us from this range. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Change target, the sprocket. It's the one we need to get away from right now. Ooh, they, uh, they really do want to get up close and personal. Okay, outrange, 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 outrange. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm dodging some missiles. I mean, inadvertently, but yeah. I mean, we are arranging them, but not very quickly. Ooh, that was right down the middle. But we're okay, we're okay. Woo! Okay, no one else around, which is great. Let's go and tear apart this guy. We need a lot of metal. Yeah, we took a lot of damage there, but we are going to loot some of it here. Take this guy apart. Self car capacity, which is good, because I think we're picking up some ammo here that we could very much just dump. Okay. We don't anything, need anything else for repairs, but we've got cargo capacity right now because we just consumed a bunch of metal. That's the thing. Without um, without going with like the shielding like as our primary defense, it is costing us a little bit of a profit with every battle. But not much. It's not like the steel is that valuable. I don't think we... I mean, I know there was a little bit left over, but it's probably just little chunks of steel. Grab that. I'm going to leave the other. Okay. Pop back in here. This guy is very scary. Um, yeah, we're probably going to lose vision of it in a second here. We move too far, yeah? Oh, we still have it for now. Nope, see, there we go. We lost it. Yeah, there you go. Engage at this distance. Target that, please. Okay. Let's move back. And then do some repairs. Ooh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's a fair amount of steel. I think we lost a piece of ship that was disconnected here. Okay, but the repairs are complete. Move back in. I think there were some other platforms over here. You know what? Let's, hang on. If we engage near this rock, it limits the angle that we can be shot at. You get a little bit of flank protection. Missiles might just hit it instead of us. So I feel like there was something over here too. Oop. Or there. Oh yeah, and again, I need to... Yeah, let's engage from about this far because we can't really see for much further than this. Okay, good. Do the repair. Hopefully, yeah, I think that's all based on equipment on board, which is good. And yeah, I could see us building maybe an outer layer of shields to protect again the armor, but maybe still have at least one small shield to protect this prism internally. We're being very cautious here, but I think with good reason. Maybe I should still pick around the 
outside here. Those repairs coming. You are... There you go. Okay. They are tightly clustered. Although, I weirdly have vision? How come I have vision here? Because this is going to let me engage from my actual maximum beam range. Okay. I don't know why it's working. Actually, yeah, target that cockpit right there. Yeah, you have vision here too. Hi! Why? I'm going to lose it. As we, okay, hold on. Maybe it's because there was a little bit of a gap here, maybe, in the cloud. Hmm. At least there was, but okay. Yeah, you gotta have to maintain about this distance. But it's not shooting at us because the cannons are being outranged still. Okay, that's good. Now the space station itself is still a little scary. But it's the only thing that's still there. I approach to here. And I mean, if it doesn't have sensors, like maybe it has, it might not be able to see me right now. Yeah, I don't think it can, or maybe didn't have anything that could shoot. All right, you're done. Beautiful. Okay. Let me put a few markers here. Just so you can. Done. Let's loot the heck out of this place. I'll do this. Then we'll do a pass where we drop the ammo and the steel. And then give it another command to loot everything around. I mean, it's going to pick the bases apart completely. Even if it can't loot it, which is fine. We'll have to do that at some point anyway. I mean, arguably it's generating more objects for the game to crash. but Or to crash, to track. But I'm not certain that's actually really causing us any kind of frame rate issues or anything currently. Uh So yeah, eject all the ammo, the nuclear missile parts and the steel. And then do another loot job over here. Oh, you're still you're still dumping. You hadn't fi finished ejecting everything. Okay. Try this again. Hold on. Probably know the nuclear missile parts are worth a lot, but I would be surprised. It's probably something like one enriched uranium makes like a bunch of nuclear missile parts or something like that. Okay, so that's there. There's still tons of debris around. I mean, just in case, I'll put some markers over here, although probably when we're in the area, we'll see it or we'll be doing some passes around and noticing things regardless. Uh, okay, let's go turn in the Fugitive Bounty. And the thing is, we may already be past the fame limit for things like the Fugitive Bounties, in which case I shouldn't worry about min-maxing what order I turn things in, but we'll see. Boop, boop. Oh, yeah, so that's already... The level 3 is past this limit. The level 4 is past this limit. Yeah, okay, I we can probably just turn in whatever. Um, I could sell you the... Processors? Sure, why not? Do you want five processors? Wait, 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 no, no, no. Reset, wrong way. Oh, I only have three on me. Wait, what? I have 34 processors. Oh, this might be counting the ones I own um, on my other ship, too. be lazy. I go over here, and I, first of all, I tell you, let's transfer to excess. And then when that's done, I'll grab five processors and try to see and turn them in. But yeah, I bet you that's it. And here's the thing, like the processors is kind of sort of one of the things I'm looking to accumulate. So I don't really want to be selling them, but what the heck? There's a decent extra stuff. Oh, hold on. 
I mean, it's one second. I can turn in a quest while I'm here. Destroy Pyre Base. Let's see, and Hypercoils, the carbon. Again, I might just want those. All they are is a little bit extra money. Yeah, I'm looking forward to strip mining this entire solar system. But yeah, we'll go and turn in this. I guess I could have hyperspaced over here. It's a little bit of waste of the Hyperion, but I mean, we can mine tons of it. So it's mostly a question of taking a pause every now and again to do the mining. And I've got a bunch of it stored in my cargo processor. That cargo processor is doing great things for us. Hello, I would like to sell you five CPUs, please. And then I will accept that. Okay. Yeah, I guess I could have stored more nuclear missile parts and things, but I'm not worried about those quests. Ooh, there is. Maybe make sure the carbon. Again, hopefully we'll see these when we come through, but I may as well do a few safety pins. Okay. Let's keep blasting. Well, I got to put a cut in here, but the idea is going to be to keep blasting at these little quests. Um, this kiting ship situation is going fine. Um, I do suspect that we are going to experience greater and greater problems still as we go to higher level areas. Um, I mean, we did poke our nose in one of the higher level areas at some point, right? Is it here that we went? It may have been here. Yeah, I guess it's got a green marker. We probably visited it previously. Um, and it's possible that this kiting ship that we've got could handle it. But I think, I think once we clear the system of all hostiles and then mine the hell out of it, we're going to be sitting on... We might be sitting on like a million bucks because you got to remember, we spent a lot of money unlocking blueprints in the past um, and we have a lot of value invested in our current ships as well. Like our cargo processor, while not being terribly interesting, still has value for the parts it's made out of, but also it has huge amount of inventory sitting around. And it's not like this thing is the, the cheapest ship. either. It's not the most expensive ship, but it's not the cheapest. So in total, and, and there's no way for us to tell this, but we might have a net worth of like a million bucks right now. I'm not sure, but we'll probably end up with like definitely more than a million bucks of net worth after we're done strip mining this um, and possibly a fair amount of raw cash just from doing the quests as well. Conceivably, at some point, we might start selling off some excess stuff as well. But I think I really like the idea of just stockpiling a lot of these resources. We probably don't know these this much actual raw steel anymore. Right, that's probably more than we need. I think I could probably sell this. And we've got more iron we can mine in this area. That actually seems like a fairly decent idea. Like, why don't I go and drop off, you know, heck, I could probably, I could sell all the steel and probably rebuild it pretty quickly anyway. Um, can I type? Yeah, there we go. Let's say minus 2,000. There we are. Let's sell off 2,000 units of steel from over here. Are you helping with the manipulator beam? Well, that's sweet. Oh, and then over here. Oh, yeah, we've spotted some baddies. OK, well, let me put the cut in here. We're going to pick this right back up next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.